Hi dear friends and viewers welcome back to my channel and Vinay Kumar basics of physics dear friends in this video I am going to explain about the ionic bond formation and uh, it is also known as the Cosell's theory or it is Cosell's theory so by using that Cosell's theory we have to explain about the formation of calcium oxide calcium oxide we have to discuss in this one so before start the video children my request is i am uploading the maximum topics of 10th class in our channel along with that i am going to upload polyset videos also in my channel polyset previous year questions and polyset concepts i am going to explain in my channel that's why you can subscribe my channel and uh, follow my channel and inform my channel to your friends also okay clear children so now we are going to the topic so children I already uploaded one video for what is the necessity of chemical bond between the atoms and how the NaCl is formed on the base of ionic bond theory so that's why first you can watch that video after completion of watching that video only you come to hear this video clear i will provide the link of that particular video in the description and cards also i will mention that okay so now we are going to put topic what is mean by ionic bond children the ionic bond will be formed between the atoms because of transfer of electrons from one atom to the another atom clear ionic bond is purely based on the transfer of electrons from one atom to the another clear now here that should be explained on the basis of formation of ionic bond on the base for the calcium oxide compound let's go for that so children what is the formula of calcium oxide CaO or it is CaO this is the calcium oxide formula so children first you have to know about the calcium calcium atomic number is what here what it is 20 and its configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 and now 4s2 clear 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 6 10 10 plus 2 12 plus 6 8 18 plus 2 20 so now here calcium is 20 and that should be having conversations like this here calcium want to get stability so which atom has more stability the atoms which have 8 electrons in their valence shell they are very very stable so almost all except helium remaining all noble gas elements have eight electrons in their shells valence shell that's why they are very very stable and they are very uh, poor reactive because they are fully stable and now children here calcium want to get the configuration of argon if it can lose the two electrons then only it becomes or gains the configuration of argon that's why here children in previous video i already explained about this one what is octet configuration and what is its importance so ns2 the atoms which have ns2 np6 configuration in outermost shell they have eight electrons which are having eight electrons they are more stable they are more stable clear now come to the calcium here 1s2 this is the first shell that's why i'm showing here this is 2 and in the second shell how many electrons are there 2 plus 6 8 2 comma 8 and in third shell how many there 2 plus 6 8 and now it is 2 clear so that's why here in our textbooks the configuration should be given like this what it is how 2 comma 8 comma 8 2 in the first shell two electrons are there in the second shell eight electrons are there in third eight it is there in fourth shell two electrons are there that's why here the calcium wants to lose 
to get the 8 electrons. So here 3 s 2 3 p 6 2 plus 6 8 are there. If calcium wants to lose these two electrons then obviously it becomes as the configuration of argon. So argon has configuration is 3 s 2 3 p 6 in outermost shell. That's why here this calcium wants to lose two electrons here. When calcium wants to lose electrons we are showing that Ca plus 2. Ca plus 2. Ca plus 2 means that should be having only 18 electrons. When it is having 18 electrons that should be having configuration of S organ. That is what 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. That's why here simply we are showing now here for Ca plus 2 what it is? 2, 8, 8, 2 only. Okay, and now here Ca plus 2. What is mean by Ca plus 2? Here Ca is the neutral atom and Ca plus 2 is the positively charged ion. What is positively charged ion? So children, positively charged ion is called cation. What it is? Cation. This is nothing but what it is children? Cation formation. We discussed up to now. Cation formation. So that's why if the calcium want to lose two electrons, it will gain the configuration of argon, then it is stable. So this is simply about the cation formation. In the same manner children, here oxygen is there, oxygen it is there. So now here anion formation, anion formation. So children here oxygen atomic number is what? 8. Then what do you write? Here configuration is what? 1s2. 2s2, 2p4, 2p4. So just now only I told you the atoms which are having 8 electrons in their shell, valence shell, they are very stable. Here how many there? 2 plus 4, 6 are there. For oxygen, how many valence electrons are there? 6. So they need 2 more electrons. They need 2 more electrons. That's why oxygen is ready to gain 2 more electrons. 2 more electrons. So children here, in our textbook, the configuration should be given like this. 1s2 means what? Nothing but in first shell, 2 electrons are there. In second shell, how many are there? 2, comma, 6 are there. So, when the electrons are received by the oxygen, we can mention like this O minus 2. That means what? It received 2 electrons. When it received 10 electrons, I mean 2 electrons, then the total electrons are how many there? 10 there. Then its configuration is 1s2. 2s2 and 2p6 1s2 2s2 2p6 that means how many electrons are there in outermost shell 8 electrons are there this is the configuration of nothing but neon so that's why here oxygen is the neutral atom and o minus 2 is the negatively charged ion that negatively charged what we call anion what we call anion so that's why here oxygen o minus 2 is there that should be having configuration of neon then only it is stable then only it is stable that means what you have to say children now ionic bond formation ionic bond formation so what it is children simply i am saying now here what it is children this is what i am saying ca plus 2 ca plus 2 clear ca plus 2 means what it loses the two electrons those two electrons are transferred from calcium to the oxygen calcium to the oxygen that's why simply we are showing that ca plus 2 plus o minus 2 o minus 2 here ca plus 2 and o minus 2 so what i am telling ca plus 2 is the cation it is the positively charged and o minus 2 is the negatively charged ion and ion when they have some charges when they have some charges like charges or like charges they are unlike charges so unlike charges always attracts each other that's why here there is some strong attraction between the cation and anion so due to that they will form one compound that is what you have to say calcium oxide ca plus 2 o minus 2 or it is also mentioned as cao what is cao that means when combining of ca plus 2 o minus 2 again what we are getting one stable compound that is what CaO we are getting. 
so one calcium oxide we are adding that is the compound clear so in this way children the ionic bond should be explained in the formation of calcium oxide so we have to remember that when electrons are transferred from one atom to another atom then only ionic bond is created in this case the electrons are transferred from calcium to the oxygen so during the losing and gaining they become as the ions positive ion is there negative ion is there when they having opposite charges they will attract together due to that one compound is formed that is what calcium oxide children so if you can understand this one like share comment the video and subscribe my channel to get all notifications okay thank you for watching